name is Anuksha Patel and I'm a solicitor in the private client team here at Russell Cook. Today I'm going to take a few moments to discuss digital assets and incorporating them in your will. First of all, what are digital assets? Well, there is no definitive description for digital assets, but they can include any means of content, account and media on online or digital devices or platforms. They can vary from online profiles with media content sharing sites such as Facebook, Instagram or Twitter to online banking accounts or even to go so far as your email account, which is provided for by an online webmail service or an ISP provider. So why do we need to consider these assets? Well, the nature of these types of assets and the way that there are constantly new and varied ways to create new digital assets means that the law has not really quite caught up with the myriad of ways that people are adding to their digital footprint. Many standard wills, therefore, do not include a provision for including digital assets, and therefore it is important to make special provision if you do wish for them to be included. The Law Society recently commissioned a study, and it was discovered that three quarters of people do not know what happens to their online content after they die. The common assumption is that it will pass to your nearest and dearest, but this is not always the case. And it is important to consider how your friends, your family and your executors will be able to access this content after you've died. Some assets, such as photographs, may not have any monetary value, but may have sentimental value. In contrast, your executors may be required to find out information about online banking accounts in order to further the probate process. You may own a business, or you may be part of a business, and you may get a number of business emails. Your executors may need to find out information about the running of the business and various business practices, and getting access to this information through your emails may pro prove to be difficult after you've gone. And finally, you might have taken the opportunity during the pandemic and our various lockdowns to finally put pen to paper and to write that novel that you've always talked about. And you may have even gone so far as to get it self-published. Well, this sort of asset might include an intellectual property right, and you may need to make specific reference to it and create a special legacy in your will in order for it to be incorporated. The pandemic has highlighted to many people the need for a will or for it to be updated. And if you feel that your digital assets are not adequately accounted for, then please do contact our private client team and a member of our team will be able to assist.